Hello and welcome gamers to another episode of Vigi Game Hunting. I'm back this week with some Black Friday pickups and uh, one amazing game that has to be the best thing I've ever found in a thrift store game wise and I will get to that um, towards the end of the video but to start off here I've got a few things that I picked up pre-Black Friday kind of leading up to the week, uh, the holiday weekend I guess. Uh, first thing I picked up here was um, Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space for the Wii. Um, I picked up a couple games for a fellow YouTuber, uh, Video Game Experiment. Check him out if you haven't already. I've talked to him about him in other videos. And uh, when I met up with him, he picked up some Wii games real cheap, and uh, I got that one off of him for a few bucks. It looks like an interesting title. <clears throat> I've always been interested in playing the Sam and Max games, and uh, thought I'd give that one a shot. And then I've got a few pawn shop pickups here from Pawn America, my favorite pawn shop. Uh, we'll just go through these real quick. For the original Xbox, Star Wars Episode 3. Got that for 99 cents. <clears throat> uh, another Wii pick up here, Fling Smash. I don't know a lot about this game, but it was a couple bucks. And it was complete in really good shape, so I thought I'd give it a try. And then for the PlayStation 3, Greatest Hits version of Resistance 2. Uh, again, $1.99. Seemed like it was worth trying out, for sure. Um, and then next up... <clears throat> I had found a Craigslist deal actually. Um, Craigslist has been pretty terrible. Um, I'm guessing pretty much everywhere, but in my area especially. And uh, somebody who posted some PS4 games, this guy listed like three or four games he was selling them pretty reasonably priced. <clears throat> and uh, I saw a couple on there I wanted and I got him to go down on the deal, um, what he was listing. And I offered to buy a couple of them for a $5 discount, I think it worked out to be. So what I picked up from him in really good shape was Wolfenstein for the PS4, the new order. And uh, Killzone Shadowfall, which I gotta say, I, I've not liked the Killzone series up to this point, but this game I'm really, really enjoying. It's got amazing visuals, um, and I kind of like the gameplay too, the change up with like the little robotic assistant, I don't know if they call it the, the ghost, I don't know if that's right, but um, I think that's what they call it in the game. It's a lot of fun though. And then next up here, um, kind of getting into the Black Friday stuff. So. I think they did this in a few Walmart stores. I only found it in one of the three Walmart stores in my area, but they had a used um, game bin for $4.99, I think, something like that. And uh, I got a little bit of footage here. You can check out uh, the bin I found at one of the stores in my area. Yeah, so there you go. There were a few uh, few hidden gems uh, worth picking up in that bin, and um, also my my daughter apparently has a wedgie. So now we know. And uh, so what I picked up out of there, there were a few okay titles. I picked up Yakuza Dead Souls. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about the Yakuza series, and I believe um, Alpha Omega Sin talked about that game in particular being a lot of fun. I also grabbed for the PS3 Overlord Raising Hell, which <clears throat> I've heard is a pretty enjoyable game. And then, for no reason other than it was the only Wii U game in there, I picked up uh, Funky Barn. I, I know nothing about this game, it looks like a budget title, um, and it's probably not good, but it was five bucks, so I grabbed it anyway. So with my Black Friday stuff, I ordered a lot of it Thursday online um, because uh, Target and Best Buy were offering most of their deals right away Thursday. Um, I think I logged on pretty early in the morning, like 5 a.m. or something like that when I got up. And I picked up all the games I wanted and had them shipped to me. So what I picked up over uh, the Black Friday online sales, first up I got Xbox One uh, Diablo 3, the Reaper of Souls edition. I have played through the original release on the Xbox 360, so now I'm going to play through the expansion here um, on Xbox One, so I'm looking forward to that. I really enjoy that game. And then for the PS4, a game I cannot wait to play is Shadow of Mordor. Heard a lot of great things about this game. I'm a huge Middle Earth fan. Love the Lord of the Rings, love the movies, love the books, so I can't wait to get into that. And then I also picked up um, Infamous Second Son for the PS4. I think that was like, uh, I think all of these were 25 bucks actually. 
could be a mistake. Well, Diablo 3 was $30, but the other two were $25. Um, so I can't wait to give those a shot. And now I've got a clip of a thrift store. I wasn't even out game hunting, actually. I was just looking for shelves for my game room because I'm running out of space in here to put games on. Um, but I found something amazing in a local thrift store, and I've got a clip here, so check it out. Okay, so as you can see from the footage, I actually walked by this thing like once or twice. You can see the Super Nintendo games down in the corner, they were all sports games generic, but up behind a couple knickknacks was this game, Hotel Mario. Now, for those of you who don't know, you may not have heard of this game at all, which I wouldn't be surprised. So Hotel Mario, what happened was um, Nintendo back in the day was going to do a CD expansion for the Super Nintendo. Well, they partnered with Sony and uh, worked with them on a CD add-on and then backed out of that deal. Sony later went on to, of course, make the PlayStation um, out of that, kind of out of the ashes of that, which has just destroyed the gaming uh, industry. They've been a dominant, uh, a dominant developer and platform ever since, really. And then um, after backing out with Sony, they went to Philips, and Nintendo was going to do the exact same thing. They were working with Philips to do a CD add-on um, because they felt that they didn't have... Uh, they didn't like the deal with Sony, basically. There's a lot more details along. I'm just kind of giving you the brief summary. But um, anyway, that deal with Philips didn't develop into a CD add-on for the SNES at all. Um, but what did happen was, after they backed out of that deal again with Philips, Philips got the right to make certain games with Nintendo characters. Um, I've got the dust cover and the CD. This thing is completely complete. Pop it open here. Uh, manual, disc. Um, so what happened was Philips was able to actually make games using Nintendo characters on what they developed as their own individual platform, the Philips CDI, which again was a pretty unsuccessful platform. It was a lot like the 3DO, where they tried to do multimedia, music, games, all of it, but at a really insane price point at the time. And uh, a lot of people have never heard of it just because it didn't catch on. It was a flash in the pan, basically. And uh, they made a couple of uh, Zelda games, and they also made this Mario game, Hotel Mario. And this is incredibly uncommon. I mean, if you're going to find a game for the CDI, finding one of the Nintendo ones is amazing. Uh, there's four total for the system. Um, <clears throat> and you can see in there it was $19.99 at that thrift store. Now, I don't know if they actually knew what this thing was worth, because I've gone into that store before, and they've had like Mario Brothers 3 or RC pro -Am for like $15. So I don't know if they just mark stuff up thinking people will buy it or if they actually looked this up but if they looked it up they were way off um, 1999 is still a great deal but I got uh, with a Black Friday deal they gave me 20% off so I think it was like 17 and change and uh, <clears throat> yeah I'll probably never get to play it to be honest because I'm not gonna be able to find a CDI and I'm not gonna pay the money to track down the CDI system but as far as video game history goes this is a fantastic piece to have in my collection Honestly, I'd probably consider this the coolest thing that I have in my collection. Um, it's going to be a prized piece for me for sure. Um, and I, I just couldn't believe it. I found it in a thrift store um, in my, you know, in my area here. Like it just makes no sense, uh, and it's in such great shape. Again, you know, I've got everything here: the dust cover, the manual, the disc. The disc looks great. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I found. Um, totally pumped about this one and the few other games that I picked up over Black Friday. I'm getting a little harder to find stuff with the weather changing now, relying just on thrift stores and pawn shops, of course. And I haven't forgot about the 50 subscriber giveaway contest. I'll be putting up a video in a few days here. But um, again, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all next time.